In this video, we're going to be looking at the consignment data entry page and reviewing the available fields. So under the home menu, we go to create consignments. And this is our consignment cre creation page. If you're entering data manually, this is the page you'll use. There is a box for a consignment number. Uh, generally that's left empty and will assign a consignment number for you, normally with a prefix. You need to ensure a customer is selected. If you have a staff login, you'll be able to select a customer from the list. If a customer has a login, then that name will be predefined. The date will default to today's date, but you can forward date consignments if you're doing data entry for following days. Adding senders and receivers information. When you start typing, we'll give you a list of previously entered addresses. We suggest you turn off the autofill from your browser. We can default the senders and receivers information if required. You also have settings available for business or residential addresses if you charge differently to those. Some other fields available include email, contact names and phone numbers, and sender or receiver references. Filling consignment items, the column selector button to the top left of the table is handy. This allows you to go in and define which columns are displayed. If you're doing dangerous goods, you can enter that at a line item or a contact level. And there's some other fields which are available. Those settings are saved per user login, so they'll follow you no matter what computer you're at. We've got some things like item references, quantity, the description, you can set up this description list and enable people to select from that and or force them to select from that. Weight and dimensions are fairly standard. As we said previously, the cubic is calculated based on the dims that you've entered and the quantity. You can enter the UN number on the item row or you can also do that at the consignment level as well. The printer icon allows you to print individual labels for specific items if required. Tabbing through allows you to add as many line items as required. If you've got multiple service levels set up, they can be selected from the consignment. And there's a number of other ConNote level reference fields that are available if you need to use those. Once the pickup required is selected, you have the pickup details available, including special instructions, a ready date time, booking notes and close time. Similar details are available for the delivery, special instructions, booking date time, notes and close times. By default, consignments are set up as a hub and spoke model. You can do point to point consignments if you want by toggling that selector. That can be automated as well if required. The main difference between a traditional hub and spoke and a point to point is how the consignments behave on a mobile device. There are printing options available depending on how you do your data entry. You can choose to automatically print connotes and labels when you save them. This requires us to install a printer app on your browser. We can send consignments to an A4 printer and a label to a label printer. Connets and labels are always available to be printed via the consignment or at a manifest level. If you have the modules enabled, you also have the ability to be able to record equipment accounts against these consignments as well. And if you have pricing set up, uh, your customers can get a price estimate based on the data that they've entered. The minimum required data when entering a consignment can be defined globally and at a customer level. The next video is going to go over the consignment creation rules.